Two receivers to the left. Brissett looks that way, throws, and that will not be caught. It's incomplete. Intended for Eric Ebron. Contested on the play. Fourth and 12. Yeah, Eric Ebron had three drops last week and now drops that one. And that would have set up a really interesting decision by Frank Reich. Would have been fourth and about one. And I'm going to bet he probably would have gone for it there. Second and 10. Give it to Wilkins on a draw. Just about six yards to carry. Sorensen makes the tackle a little bit short of the first down. Third and one. They've already converted a couple of third downs on this drive. Third and five for the Texans. Watson to the outside. Fells is met and driven backwards by Sorensen for no gain. And the field goal unit will come on for Houston. That's a big tackle by Sorensen. Remember, he gives up about 60 pounds. But uh, head and shoulders yeah. in front of the ball carrier, driving him back. Textbook. Fake to Cook. Cousins looking, comes back to Smith. And Sorensen is there for a big loss. The Chiefs have been over that play all day. Rivers steps up, goes underneath to Allen, and Allen is met at the nine-yard line that time. That was Daniel Sorison quick to get on and make the tackle. There's Frank Clark. Let's see what he does coming off the edge. Tries that under move. Rivers steps up to the end zone. Oh, no! Intercepted by Sorensen. Fourth interception thrown by Rivers. And Chiefs Kingdom can celebrate. Laterals back. It lands on the ground. It was picked up by Brady, who then threw the ball backwards. And we got a pick right here by Sorensen. Laterals in Foxborough. And Miami is still trying to stop the play as James White has it. The Dolphins have made the tackle. Miami has won. And they fake it. They snap it to Reed, and he is stopped by Sorensen. They snap it to the up back. And Reed is denied. Houston with a great call, I think. Sorensen has to make an open field tackle with the whole side of the field. Watch, Reed's one on one with the whole field, and you just have to make a little move. And I tell you, Sorensen with a great tackle. It's been wild. It's been wild. Butker, this is going to be returned by Carter. Going to take it at the goal line. Balls out and is picked up in the air. It's picked up in the air and run all the way back by Darwin Thompson inside the 10. Unbelievable. How many plays you said have been wild? Add another one seconds later. Oh, my goodness. A Carter... Brings this out and then pop, ball comes out. It was Sorensen again, I believe. Sorensen who was able to kill the fake punt. There he is. Just an unbelievable sequence of what's just happening here. Incredible. It reminds me of like Rocky when it's like, what's he doing? He's, yeah. like, he's getting punched in the face. He's like, no, he's getting mad. And all of a sudden he wakes up and that's what the Chiefs have done. They just woke up. Chris Jones is back in for the pass rush. And he's chasing after Tannehill. Tannehill right into Sorensen, who jolts him back at the 38. And that's fourth down. What a tackle by Sorensen, who made two monster plays last week to help them come back on the fake punt. And then later, but Jones with the pressure, making Tannehill get out of the pocket quickly. And out. 
<laughs> Gonna go left to Henry. And who else? Sorensen is there to make the tackle for a loss of six. That's a great job. It's a screen pass. And Sorensen really with just some outstanding plays. We've already touched on it last week, this week. Just it's a great. They almost play him at the linebacker level a lot. You always see him down around the line of scrimmage. Now Tannehill, that pass, it was Sorensen who got a hand on it. And he's been seeing more action since Juan Thornhill, the rookie, second round pick, blew out his ACL the last week of the regular season. He was a starter. Sorensen's one of those who had to step up.